Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make onion burgers. Um, this is supposed to be an old depression recipe. And it's real simple. It's literally ground beef and onion. That's all. Um, and I'm going to show you this quick little recipe. I've made it once before and it was really good. Family loved it. But of course, if you don't like onions, then it's probably not a good idea for you. Um, but the first step in doing this is to go ahead and slice, try to the best that you can. If you've got a mandolin, that would probably help. Slice your onion, one onion, as thin as possible. And then go ahead and separate all, all the little pieces. And go ahead and get your skillet hot with a little bit of grease. You probably won't need much because your burgers are going to produce some. But what you have to do is you have to pile the onion in little piles. And you're going to cook it until it's a little bit brown. And then you're going to go ahead and press the burgers down on top of it. And you're going to continue to cook. And then you'll flip. Um, one step that you need to remember is that after you cut the onion you need to try your best to get the moisture out so i'll show you what i did here i um took a towel and basically wrapped it up in the towel and tried to squeeze as much moisture as i could out of it um of course it's not perfect but it should work um so we'll see how it goes and hopefully all will go well. You need to go ahead and season your burgers. You need to make them as thin as possible. And so I'm gonna just season them with a little bit of seasoned salt and pepper. And I just did them by hand so they're not perfect or anything. So as I'm gonna get this hot, we're going to uh, place little handfuls of onion. So little handfuls of onion. I'm gonna do probably three burgers at once. This recipe is good for four. So let me go ahead and put the onion here. Small little stacks. All right, now you're going to leave the onion there for a few minutes, three or four minutes, and then it'll be time to place the meat on them. So you just have to be a little bit patient. You have to sit here with it because they will burn. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got one little stack of onions already starting to brown. So I'm gonna take my salted and peppered side and I'm gonna press it down. And your meat needs to be cold. That way it holds together better. When I did this the first time, it was kind of room temp, I guess. Not room temp, but it wasn't as cold like straight out of the fridge. So, It's holding together a lot better this time. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Kind of tricky. Okay. So I'm probably going to flip it again here in a few minutes. So you have to be really careful with these. I'm not sure if you could do it on the grill. Face down. Mash it into the meat. Mash it into the meat. Let's back on this one. I just mash. So I'm going to leave it here for just a few more minutes. Just not want to fall apart. But that's basically the gist of the recipe. 
and you'll continue to cook these until they're done. Just a few more minutes and then a few more minutes and then you have to just carefully flip. But that's, that's the gist of the recipe. Really simple, it smells good. They're basically caramelized onions, but pressed into the meat. And we've had them before and they were, they were delicious. So I'm gonna try. This one's going to fall apart, but basically, how you make them? Really quick, easy, and simple. Um, you just need some meat and an onion. Um, you know, and of course, we're going to put it on buns. We're going to serve it with something, probably chips. Um, but that's the gist of it. I'm going to finish cooking these, and then I will show you the end product, and that'll be it for today. I'll be back in a few. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished product. I paired it with some fries. I just put it on a regular hamburger bun, um, but you can put it on any type of bun that you have or you prefer. And it's real simple and easy. Um, just very few ingredients, and supper is ready. I'll see y'all next time.